guys, welcome to Treadmill Review Guru. Today we're gonna to take a look at two of the most popular bikes on the market today. We have the Bowflex C6 exercise bike, and we're gonna compare that with the original Peloton bike. So this is not the new updated bike plus, this is their original model. Um, the main difference between these two bikes, as you can see right off the bat, is the Peloton bike of course has this very lovely 22 inch touchscreen, and the app is integrated with the functionality of the bike. The C6 bike does not have a touchscreen. You have an LCD console right here that provides you ride metrics, and then it includes a tablet holder, but does not come with a tablet. So you would have to use your own tablet or device or your phone if you want to use third-party apps on this bike. The other thing that's a, a significant difference is the cost. So the C6 bike is currently listed less than $1,000 and there's no added subscription cost. So you can get third-party apps if you want to, to use on the bike, but it doesn't require an app from Bowflex to make the bike work functionally. Um, as opposed to the Peloton bike, which is currently priced at $18.95, and in order to get the full functionality of the Peloton experience, the app costs about $39 a month. Um, so there is a significant price difference between the two but let's take a more detailed look at construction, pros and cons, and who these bikes are best suited for. First of all, let's take a look at some of the similarities between these two bikes. As you can see, they both have very similar styling. So you've got a uh, black frame with red accents. Both of these have a resistance knob right here, red resistance knob. Um, the Bowflex has the red saddle and the Peloton has the black saddle. But as far as their overall uh, footprint, they're very similar. So the footprint on the C6 bike, it is 49 inches long. If I raise the handlebars all the way up, this console lifts up to about 52 inches high and it's only 21 inches wide. So it's a little narrower. The um, Peloton bike is 59 inches long. So it's a little longer. Some of that is the addition of the weight cages at the back. Uh, 59 inches long. The console reaches to about 52 inches high and the total width of the bike is about 23 inches. So it's a little wider and a little longer, um, but comparatively, they're very similar. Also, another similarity between the two. Both bikes, as you can see, have stabilizers both at the front and the rear. That's these um, support beams right here that, move, that are lateral underneath the front and the back of the bike. And then on both bikes, you have adjustable levelers. So here on the Bowflex C6 bike, you can see this notched um, dial right here that I can turn to make sure that that bike sits snugly on your floor. So I just kind of tighten that until that leveler under there drops down so the bike won't rock at all. The same is true of the Peloton bike. You have adjustable levelers underneath all four. Um, actually on the Peloton bike, you have six because you've got one in the center as well. So both bikes sit very firmly on the floor and don't rock. I haven't adjusted the one on the other side, but you do also have front transport wheels on both bikes. So right here, I've got front wheels and you can see that when the bike is sitting on the floor, the wheels don't touch the floor. So they don't um, affect the stability of the bike. If you wanna move the bikes, you lift them from the back, engage the wheels and you can roll them. So they're very similar in a lot of ways. Um, you can even see the cord that hangs down from, or the cable that hangs from the back of the touchscreen and integrates into the, into the bike frame right here on the Peloton. And you actually have something very similar over here on the C C6 that just kind of goes from the LCD screen down into the bike frame. Both bikes use magnetic resistance, so they're both very quiet. If I move the flywheel on both bikes, that was the console turning on. But if I move the flywheel right here, it doesn't make any noise. So very quiet um, resistance, same over here on the Peloton bike. I'm just gonna spin that flywheel. They're both extremely quiet. Um, and they both have a resistance knob with 100 digital resistance levels. So that's nice, you turn the knob and it will increase your resistance and then you turn it down to decrease your resistance. I really like 100 levels, it makes a lot of sense to people. 100 is your max, obviously uh, one is your minimum. And then on both bikes, you can press down on that lever and it acts as a brake. The other thing is both bikes do require electricity. 
So you do have to plug them both in. You can see the Peloton bike plugs in here to the back of the frame and the C6 bike actually plugs in over on the left side, just right down here on the, off this upright. It plugs in right there. Uh, the C6 does not require Wi-Fi, whereas the Peloton would require Wi-Fi, but they do both require electricity. They're both very comfortable. And that's hard to demonstrate in a video, but I've ridden a lot of bikes. And the geometry works in such a way that you can find the right fit for you. The saddle on the C6 bike is really comfortable. You have kind of like a, a leather saddle that's narrow and then just wider at the back with just a touch of cushioning. Um, and I could ride this saddle for quite a while. It's actually quite comfortable. And the same is true with the Peloton saddle. It doesn't look quite as padded because um, it's not quite as thick, but it's actually very uh, comfortable as you're riding and there's no friction points. You don't get any hot spots. So on both bikes, you can get a comfortable ride and ride for longer periods of time without any issues with saddle discomfort. Let's take a closer look at some of the significant differences between these two bikes. Even though they look very similar, there are some things that are different. So on the C6 bike, you have four adjustment points. And that means that you can uh, change the bike fit four different ways. You can raise and lower the handlebars. You can also slide the handlebars forward and back. That's two. You can also raise and lower the seat as well as slide, slide, the, slide the seat back and forth. So that's the other two. So there's your four points of adjustment. On the Peloton bike, you can raise and lower the seat right here and you can move the seat forward and back. So there's your first two. And you can also raise and lower the handlebars. You can lift those up um, quite a bit if you'd like to, but you cannot move the handlebars forward or back because of the way the touchscreen is attached. So that's one difference to be aware of. Some of our larger reviewers, we had um, our 6.5 reviewer on this bike and he felt like there was maybe not quite enough headspace, especially when he was riding in third position because this touchscreen isn't, isn't adjustable. You can't move it forward or away from the handlebars. Um, for me, I didn't find that problem. I, f I felt like I fit fine on the bike, but something to be aware of. You do have four adjustment points here and three adjustment points on the Peloton bike. The other thing is the weight difference. So the Bowflex C6 bike weighs 106 pounds. Um, it's actually pretty easy to move. You just lift the back end, engage these front transport wheels, hang onto the handles, and you can kind of slide it around. Uh, the Peloton bikes, it's not difficult to move, but it weighs a little more. It's 135 pounds. So a lot of that is the touchscreen and then just kind of other integration that they've got in there. So 106 pounds, 135 pounds. The C6 bike will also support up to 330 pounds which is really pretty impressive uh, for a, a, a bike. And the Peloton bike will support 300 pounds. So a little bit of a weight difference there as far as what they will support. As you can see, the, Pel the C6 bike does not have a touchscreen. So that's one of the most pronounced differences. It has the LCD console and then it has a tablet holder, does not include a tablet. So if you do want to use another app, you'd have to use your phone or have your own tablet. The Peloton bike of course comes with the integrated screen. Um, it shifts up and down, so you can pivot it up and down just a little bit, but it doesn't shift side to side. So you do have just a little bit of uh, manipulation that you can do on that screen. Um, but that's a significant difference between the two. So both bikes have similar geometry with the flywheel at the front, directly underneath the handlebars. The Bowflex has a 40 pound flywheel and the Peloton bike has a 30 pound flywheel. Now really when you're riding the bikes, because of the way they're both weighted and the geometry on both of them, you can't really tell. It doesn't affect the overall feel of the bike. But in general, when you're looking at an indoor exercise bike, the size of the flywheel matters. Anything less than 30 pounds, sometimes that's not enough to support larger riders, especially if you're up out of the saddle. You can feel kind of heavy as you sink down into those pedals because you lose a little bit of the inertia from a lower weighted flywheel. So something to be aware of, but really when you're riding these two bikes, you wouldn't be able to tell much of a difference. The other thing that makes a significant difference to people is on the Peloton bike, you can see right here, these are Delta Look pedals. So they will only support a cycling shoe that has the Delta, Delta Look clip on it. And you just lock that cleat right in there and that's how you ride but it doesn't have a flat spot. So it really doesn't work very well with an athletic shoe. And if you have a cycling shoe, if you're somebody who rides indoors, like does spin classes and stuff, typically those are SPD clips. So they're different and they won't necessarily work 
with this, this uh, pedal. So just something to be aware of. Uh, Peloton does sell shoes and clips so that you, you make sure you get the right ones. But they're about $100 a pair, so something else to be aware of. And pretty much anybody who wants to ride the bike has to have their own set of shoes that fits their foot and that locks into the uh, pedal. So over here on the C6 bike, you have hybrid pedals. So this top part right here has a flat, it's just a flat aluminum pedal with a nice rubber grip around the outside so your shoe doesn't shift. And then you can see you have this cage at the top to hold your toe and there is an adjustable strap on there so that you can tighten it down and really kind of hold your foot in securely. So that gives you the option of pretty much anybody can sit on this bike and ride the bike. You don't have to have a specific set of shoes. You do have the option of using cycling shoes with an SPD clip on the other side, which is more standard for like a, a spin class or something. Those are the shoes that you would typically find on an indoor spin bike. So just something to be aware of, you've got the SPD clips right here and the Delta look on the Peloton. When you are purchasing the bike, the cost of the C6, as we mentioned, is about $1,000. The cost of the original Peloton bike has dropped to $18.95 um, and you do have to pay for the app. So that's an extra $39 here and there's no basic app subscription here. So this is a significantly cheaper option. Uh, the other thing is the Peloton screen is designed to show Peloton classes. So you can't search the internet, you can't watch Netflix, you can't look at YouTube. Um, it, doesn't, it doesn't really let you get outside the app and surf the web on the touchscreen. And it doesn't sync with third-party apps. So if you have Zwift or something else that you wanna ride, you're not gonna be able to get it on the Peloton screen. Uh, by comparison, the Bowflex C6 does not come with a basic app. Um, but it does sync with third-party apps. So you don't get the benefit of having it all integrated into the bike, but you do have the benefit of being able to choose whatever app you like. Typically, the digital version of an app is cheaper than the integrated version. So whereas you pay $39 a month for the app on the Peloton bike, if you buy the Peloton digital app that you just use on your phone or tablet, it's only $13 a month. So that's also less expensive. Um, this will sync with Peloton, Zwift, um, you'd have to try other ones, but it, it does, it is Bluetooth enabled so that as long as it is compatible with the app that you're using, you should be able to get that integration with the uh, Bowflex C6. So that's another thing to be aware of. The other thing is the Bowflex C6 covers this bike with a 10 year warranty on the frame and then three years on electric parts with one year for labor. Whereas the Peloton bike, you get a five year warranty on the frame and then it only has a limited one year warranty on all other parts and labor. So just a few significant differences to consider when looking at these two bikes. So let's take a look at who these bikes are best suited for. So the Peloton bike is best suited for someone who wants the fully immersive Peloton experience. You don't want the watered down version. You don't want to use a tablet. Um, you really want that touch screen and Peloton has done an excellent job with their, um, their screen design and the filtering system in their app and the classes and things that they offer. So if you really want that full immersive Peloton experience, you're going to get it out of the bike. And um, there's a reason that Peloton is popular and that's because their programming is very engaging. It's motivating. They have really interesting, fun instructors. Um, so that's what you get on the Peloton bike and you're, you have to be willing to pay for it. Um, and the bike is about 10 inches longer than the Bowflex C6 bike, but you really do get that immersive experience and you get the full Peloton community. By contrast, um, on the C6 bike, this bike is, is better for people who are fine using the digital version of the app. They're fine using their own tablet. They would rather save money um, and have the option of integrating with third-party apps and things like that rather than paying more for that fully immersive experience. So that's just something to consider as far as which bike is best for you. It kind of depends on what you're looking for. If you are someone who is used to formatting your own cycling program, so you can just get on a bike and start to ride, you can run your own intervals, you can run Tabatas, and you like to kind of be in control of your routine and your training, the C6 is probably better because you're not locked into an app. You, you're not stuck with what has been pre-designed for you. Um, the Peloton bike is better for people who may not be as familiar with cycling and they need a little bit more training, guidance, um, engagement, content, 
uh, you want the classes and the instructors and the music. So depending on what you're looking for in, in the bike, that is a big determining factor on which one will be better for you. And then for some people, it just comes down to budget. The C6 bike is gonna cost you about half what the Peloton does. And then the app again is cheaper. If you opt for the Peloton app, you're only paying $13 a month here and $39 a month. So for a detailed written review with up close pictures and stuff about both of these bikes, make sure and check us out at treadmillreviewguru.com. For current pricing, click the link below and leave us a comment. Let us know what you think. As always, if you liked our video, make sure and give us a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel.